Okay, so as you can see, it says done. Your device will automatically reboot a couple times and will be jailbroken once it's finished. So we just have to do the reboot. So there it goes for the first time. And there it goes again. And there we go. So now it is officially jailbroken. I'll just show you once we slide in here. And you'll see that your installer and your SSH is there. Next step I'll show you is how to get your iPhone apps. Okay, so now that everything's been jailbroken, you can still see that your settings are still there. You're still able to uh, get to the web, so all your Wi-Fi settings and everything's stuck. Um, what we'll do now is we'll show you how to get the apps. So go to the installer. You can just refresh the sources if you want, just to make sure that everything takes. Just click refresh. There's an installer update, so what you want to do is click update now. Go back out, let it do its thing. Go back in, click installer. What you want to do is click the install button, go to iPhone apps for 112. We have a list of everything we need here. We need every single one of these. If you want every single app for the iPhone, just click the first one. Go install, add to queue. So this is a really great feature. Just make sure for the very last one we install that you click install as opposed to adding to the queue. If not, you'll have to click the same the same install again. Install. Just work your way down the line. Just keep adding them to the queue. So if I click add to the queue, we have the very last one left. Click install, then install. So what it'll do now is it'll run through the whole, the whole system. It says you need to install the Google Maps prep, which we already have that in queue. We'll do the same thing for the mail. Click OK. And after this is complete, I will just give you a quick, uh, a quick show how to, uh, what you need for the theme changer. All right. So if we exit out of here, let's go back to your Springboard, slide open. You'll see now that we have everything here. We have the notes, we have the mail. Okay, just as a, as a note here too, if you want to delete your information, if you want to say set up your Gmail account, um, and any mail that comes in here through your iTouch and you want to delete it from your Gmail on your iTouch, so it'll also delete it from your Gmail account if you log into a computer, make sure you set yourself up as an IMAP. Uh, so that way it works dynamically both ways. If not, what will happen is whatever you, whatever you do on your iTouch will stay on your iTouch. You have your stocks. You see it's retrieving, so that works. We have the weather. If you want to add different, uh, different, different cities or delete cities, click the I in the in the back. Uh, you can just, you can click uh, delete. Other cool feature you should be able to slide your finger across, but we'll just hit delete, and that's gone away. And the other one is the maps, and this is fully functional also. And there you go, so that works. You just take your fingers and slide it, and you can zoom in. And that's it. So your your iTouch is now officially jailbroken with all the features. Now, if you want to install the theme changer, what we'll do is you go back to installer. Click on install. 
and click on all packages. Scroll down to you see Summerboard. Use Summerboard old because the new one there is for one one. Um, it shows for one one three, but it, that's only for the iPhone. Click install. Summerboard old, install, install. So it says you got to restart your iPhone in order for the changes to take effect. So what we'll do is we'll shut it down. Okay, so now that's back up and running, we just go back to the installer. And we'll track down a theme here. Click on install. You see where it says Steam Summerboard? Click on there. Um, let's see what we got here. Smooth is a good one. Click on install. Exit out, it'll reboot itself. Or go back to the to your main screen, slide back in. What you want to do now is click on SMB preference. You can see how that's there now. Click on theme. Click on smooth, that's the one we just installed. Um, I like to skip last row, it just gives it a better effect, so it does removes a row. Once that's done, click your home button. Once you go back in, you now have a custom theme. What you can do is you can flip to the next page and you can see everything that's there. And that's it. Now the other thing you want to install is a thing called Customize and that's in your installer. There's some other features you need to install and I can show you that at some other point. But for right now, here's your theme. Everything is working and your iTouch is jailbroken. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope this works for you. If there's any questions or you want to post things or you want to donate any any funds to, to this, what you can do is you can go to jailbreakitouch.com, uh, post a comment, uh, share this information with everyone else. All right? Thanks a lot, everyone.